Dr. Couch, good to see you here on Health Connection. Thank you very much for joining us. Our topic is e-cigarettes, electronic cigarettes, the next dangerous addiction or a safe alternative? That's the question. Let's get a definition out of the way. What is an electronic or a vapor cigarette? Uh, electronic cigarette is, uh, they can be di different types of uh, way that appearance. They can be, look similar to a, a cigarette. They're usually battery operated. They can be rechargeable batteries. And what they do is they usually have a nicotine in them and the battery heats up the nicotine, which is mixed in a, in a chemical and it vaporizes it. And so you are breathing in the vapor. Um, it is nicotine, just like a cigarette. It doesn't have as much of the tar and the other stuff as like the, a regular cigarette would. Well, I think you answered this, but let me ask it. How does it work? So it creates a vapor of a um, nicotine. It also has uh, some flavorings can be added to it. And so it's a way um, that people have started to use to try to um, uh, quit smoking. Uh, uh, similar to a nicotine patch or nicotine gum or to uh, a nicotine lozenge. You said the vapor contains nicotine. What else does the vapor contain? Uh, there's some propylene glycol in it. There's some flavorings and there's some things that we don't know that might be it. it the problem has been with the e-cigarettes. They're not re regulated by the FDA, so they have not been totally analyzed and we don't know exactly everything else that, that comes out in it. Well, here's the, the question that I think we really want to know. Can they cause lung damage? Um, we don't know. It has not been really studied. Um, it, it, so we don't not, we didn't, they have not been out long enough. They have not been studied. They've been more used um, in order to taper somebody off cigarettes, so that the, off their nicotine addiction. The concern has been we don't know if they're as bad as cigarettes for causing lung cancer. Um, most of the nicotine is absorbed through your cheeks, and so we don't know if there's a higher rate of mouth cancer. Um, we just, we, so we don't know because they're not regulated. We don't have the studies, so we can't tell you at this point if it's, if it's as bad as cigarettes or is it going to have the side effects as much as cigarettes? Is it better than cigarettes? Uh, I think the biggest concern is that it does have nicotine in it, that you could be addicted to it if you didn't smoke before you used it. And I think that's the biggest concern. What are your concerns uh, with respect to their use by people who suffer COPD or uh, asthma? Um, if, you're, if you're not a smoker, you don't need to be taking up e-cigarette for social reasons or to fit in with the crowd. Um, the concern is, is that it, for nicotine, it may work in those people who have been real resistant to um, quit smoking. Um, the only real trial that's been done shows it's just as good as the patches. It's not any better than the patches, but it does um, mimic a cigarette better, so it helps that habit breaking for cigarettes. Can, can users of e-cigarettes become addicted the same way smokers of traditional cigarettes become addicted to nicotine? And that's, a, yes, exact, and I think that's the biggest worry. The biggest worry is that it can be just as, just as addicting as a cigarette. Um, and so that if um, a, a teenager wanted to use an e-cigarette or vapor, they may actually um, become addicted to nicotine and may be causing just as much problems as cigarette smoking. Do they have any value in helping people to quit smoking? And if they do, is that value worth the currently unknown long-term risks? For a, um, we, we probably have a half a million people that die of lung-related diseases this a year. For people who are addicted to cigarettes and they can't smoke, um, it is another method for helping somebody quit smoking. But the, really the biggest way to quit smoking is you have to want to quit and you have to change your habits. So it is a way to, to help somebody change their habits where they can decrease the amount of smoking, um, which, which would help them eventually try to quit. Um, it's well known that secondhand smoking causes a lot of problems in children with ear infections and asthma. It, the e-cigarettes do not produce as much nicotine or tar in the air, so the secondhand smoke is improved. 
So would it benefit those people who are trying to smoke that have kids that have asthma? It, that may be a place that it's used. Um, because we don't have the studies, we're not really sure exactly where its role is. And because we don't, it's not regulated by the FDA, we don't have any long-term studies over what side effects or morbidity it may have. What concerns you most about these things? Uh, I think the most thing is it's not regulated. I, I think that's what concerns most of the pulmonary uh, literature is that we, it's, not, it's not regulated, so there's no oversight over to the amount of nicotine is in it, who it's sold to, how much you get, and we don't have long-term studies on it, so we don't know the long-term effect. What advice do you have for people who say that e-cigarettes are safer than traditional cigarettes, especially if it helps people quit smoking? Um, for, it, for people, uh, you know, I, I stress on, for people that want to quit smoking, you have to want to quit smoking first, okay? Number one is you have to decide that you actually want to do it, that you really want to quit. Um, until you reach that, um, you know, a lot of things aren't going to work. Um, for change in the habits, that's where the e-cigarette may come into place is that you are getting a lower dose of nicotine, you're not getting as much tar, you're not getting as much of the other carcinogenics that, that are, we know are in cigarettes, so the risk may be less. You're not, it's not affecting secondhand smoke inhalers as much, um, but it, it's still just to be used the same as a nicotine patch in order to wean yourself off. Um, you know, if you have a, a smoker who, you know, has been resistant to quitting um, and they're able to wean down and quit on the e-cigarette, then I think, think it's good. Um, but I think it needs to be regulated more and I think we need more studies. With respect to cigarettes, is the carcinogen the tar or is it the nicotine or is it both to varying degrees? Uh, it, it, the nicotine is, is, is the real addiction part, okay? What causes a lot of the lung cancer and, and COPD is probably the tar and a lot of the other chemicals that are in the cigarettes. And we're not, the, what's been looked at so far, we're not seeing as much of the other stuff in the e-cigarettes, but the concern has been you're still gonna be addicted to the nicotine. And so you still got to wean yourself off the nicotine. So that if you weren't smoking to begin with and you started the e-cigarettes or the vapor because of social um, peer pressure, the concern is we'll see increased smoking habits because people will become addicted to the nicotine. Doctor, thank you very much. Thank you, you're welcome.